Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. So today in this video, I am going to do a full face of first impressions and the products are all from Shambor. So I got a couple of things that I really wanted to try and I thought it'd be interesting so that you guys could see how it looks in case you are like kind of wanting to buy any one of these products so i think this video would be really helpful uh, just to see how it looks and how it applies and if it's worth it um so yeah that's why i thought of doing this video i hope you guys like it and yeah let's get started i'm going to start with my eyes first and i'm going to apply this eyeshadow stick in the shade rose smoke yeah it looked really pretty um and i thought of doing something nice and rose goldy and smoky today um which is why i picked it up and it also had really nice reviews on Nika, so i thought you yeah, know well let me just get this i'm going to apply this all over my eyes today oh it's a beautiful um like rose gold pink like a champagne pink sort of color and the eyeshadow stick is pretty smooth as well I'll just use my fingers to blend it oh wow that looks so nice I think it'll be perfect for like an everyday wear very simple also to use. Next I'm going to draw a winged liner using the Chambord Dazzle Eye Pencil. I already have used this one in the past. I have this really beautiful amethyst sort of purple color uh, in the Dazzle range and I think it's called Dazzle Purple or something and it was one of my favorite. It's actually one of my first colorful eye pencils I believe. I bought it when I was in Pune and I absolutely loved it. Um, so I thought of getting a black one because that one was really long lasting. It was very smooth and even this one is. I just did a, a, like a nice a winged liner on this side so I'm just going to do the same thing on this side So I drew like a really soft wing liner and as you can tell it's really jet black and it was very soft to use. It sets very quickly so if you want to smudge it up do it quickly and then it just does not budge. I really like the way it turned out. Another thing about this eyeliner is that you cannot retract it back once you um, twist the pencil so you have to be a little careful. It's kind of annoying actually. So for mascara, I am trying this Infinite Lash Lengthening Mascara from Shambor. I've never really tried this. So let's see how this one works. This is how the wand looks. It has like three bumps on it. I'm also going to take whatever's left in the wand to just set my eyebrows because I'm not going to use any eyebrow pencil. So this is what the mascara looks like. I think it's pretty average. It didn't really do anything to my lashes if you can tell. It just coated them well but then I think it's pretty average. So if you are a fan of like natural looking lashes then you might like this. I like a lot of like extra volume onto my lashes um, so it didn't really do anything for that I'm actually thinking of smoking out my lower lashes but I'm gonna do that once I am done with my base so for my base I'm gonna use this powder compact uh, this is the brightening smoothening foundation that you can use wet and dry and this is in the shade dual walnut uh, so this is what it looks like comes with a cushion that you can use and uh, this compact I'm actually going to use a brush for this
it actually matches my skin tone perfectly so I'm going to use like a circular motion just to buff this inside my skin it actually gives a really nice coverage it's covering up all of my redness I have a lot of acne like breakouts here and covered it really well I really like it I think it will be nice for traveling also and I think this would be really nice for somebody with oily skin it has good coverage and it sits extremely matte because it is a powder and feels very smooth on the skin so that's it for my base I think that was really easy and it covered up like underneath my eyes and breakouts and everything I like this um, then I am going to use this uh, which is a Trinity all over face powder it has three shades in it so it has like a blush and like a peachy sort of powder and something that would match my face I'm just gonna swirl my brush all over it and then apply it onto my cheeks This is in the shade Rosetta. I forgot to mention that. All of their stuff smells really nice. This one isn't really showing up as much on my skin. I think um, it would look better on somebody with a lighter skin tone. So I'm not going to apply too much because it might wash me out. So I'm going to move on to my lipstick now and then I'm going to decide if I want to do anything else on my lower lashes. Uh, this is uh, their uh, like extreme wear long lasting liquid lipstick and this is in the shade number 484 which I have been wanting to try. It's like this very beautiful chocolatey brown. I really like the Chambord's liquid lipstick. I think they are very nice formula wise. They aren't very drying and I have a lot of colors that I wear very often. And the only thing I don't like about these liquid lipsticks are that uh, they take a long time to dry. I am very used to matte lipsticks drying up very quickly but it's okay because um, it isn't very dehydrating and it's very long lasting nonetheless so I am okay with the fact that it does not dry fast um, while I'm waiting for that to dry I think I'm gonna just add a little bit more onto my eyes so I'm going um, a little bit more heavy-handed on my inner corner uh, with that rose smoke eye pencil I'm gonna take it like inside and I'm also going to smoke out the outer corner using this black eyeliner. I'm not going to go all the way inside. And then I'm just going to take a pencil brush, smoke this out. I'm joining it with the outer corner. So these were all of the new products that I got from Chambord that I wanted to try with you guys um, just to give you like a first impression on everything that I put on my face. Um, I really like this lipstick already which is why I got another one. Um, I also enjoyed applying the powder uh, foundation. I think it turned out better than I expected it to be. I also liked the kajal. I already have used this before so I am kind of biased towards the this uh, so I wouldn't call the, the review on this to be like a first impression but it is really nice um, the blush uh, like a trio Trinity whatever they call it I'm not really a big fan of um, if they have a deeper shade I would definitely try uh, but this is something that didn't really suit me so it's not their fault and the mascara I thought was pretty average um, if you like natural uh, looking lashes for like everyday purpose this would would work very well uh, or if you already have really long lashes then this could work uh, but it didn't really do 
anything on my lashes so I think this is pretty average and then lastly is the eyeshadow stick I think is pretty good as well I am actually in love with the color and I would definitely use it I could use it as a base on top of some other eyeshadow that I'm using um, that would make the next powder eyeshadow that I'm wearing pop up really well so you could use this just on its own it's very easy to scribble over your eyes and yeah that's I think all of the products so thank you so much for watching I hope you guys liked this the links to all of the products are in the information box down below uh, they are all from Nika so I have listed it so that you guys can check them out yourself and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and I'll see you in my next one bye